Welcome back, any lovers. Today we are checking out Project Face. So you can grab yourself a light. I like Beta Dwarf in the company. I really enjoy what they make uh, with Minion Masters. I was a big fan of that character or of that uh, area, and I really, really enjoyed what the game was. And now they're actually looking to do a almost like a top-down extraction game. And it's I played two rounds of it, and it's quite fun. Um, it's quite interesting. The character, I want to use this guy so far, the hearth guard, but there's a lightning caller, there's a warden, there's a druid, and then there's a weird seeker. Um, and then the other three more characters. I'm, so I'm not too sure about which character I'm probably going to specialize in. I usually like the durable ones like this one, but this one doesn't deal any damage, which I don't like. Um, looks like I might, let's try her real fast. Let's try her real fast. So if you do like it, of course, uh, these is actually a play test that's going on right now. So you won't be able to get into it, but you will still be able to, um, you'll still be able to play test it when it does come out a little bit later down the way, but you will be able to wish list it right now. So kind of really honestly a cool thing. Like I said, this is, oh, look at that. That was kind of cool. Actually, each character has this MOBA style shot here. I don't know what I'm stacking on here. Let's see here. Each executive base attack of the same applies Fury Wound for three seconds. Each stack increases your base attack damage against the target by 10% and refreshes all stacks. Stacks up to five times. When hitting a target with five Fury Wound stacks, generate 35 energy. At 200 energy, consume all to get a rage, dealing 30% crit chance and making all damage taken into 100% recoverable wounds for seven seconds. Um, if enrage is refreshed, refresh duration and additional instantly heal your wounds equal to 20% of your max HP. Oh, so you just want to be doing. This is basically a berserker. I love it. Uh, tap swing axe and an arc dealing 50 damage, gaining 100 energy per enemy hit and taunt minions and bosses. Oh, look at this. So if you get a nice little swing in there. Half of all damage you receive. Wait, half of all damage you receive converted to wounds. Which are passively covered over time. Okay. Hmm. So if I tap, if I tap it, that's the swing. Okay. So tap is the big one. There we go. Taunt. And you drain it. And now I got enraged. Now I'm enraged. Did you see the damage increasing? See that? I like that. Spin around, deal. Oh, this is my character. This is my character because I love spin damage. So I'm a Trindomir main. So take damage equal 20% of current health as 100% recoverable wounds damage, but gain 20% move speed and attack speed. Okay, the next two base attack extends the extends the duration of the attack speed buff by one second, generates 50 energy. Ooh, stay on the ground dealing magic. So this is just like around the area. Let's see, you're dealing 175% slow for three seconds to allow, or it's all enemies in the area. Heal wounds equal to 8% of max eight health if an enemy is hit. Earthquake can be recast two times within eight seconds of the activation. If all three earthquakes deal damage, generate 200. So you're going to rage. So you guys go ding, ding, ding. You gotta like pound it. Okay, let's try this. Let's go in. Now, I know you have NPCs, it's an attraction type of game. You have NPCs, you're gonna have equipment. The goal is to obviously keep moving and rolling, keep moving and rolling. Like I said, I only got like a game or two in here. So I'm not gonna be the best. So don't expect anything crazy. Like that has wards. Reminds me of MOBA. Very MOBA ish. Can I see the map right now? I can. This is a huge map. Do you see his map? Jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, you do. Oh, you do damage. Holy crap. Okay. There we go. You're dead. You also have all these materials you're going to start seeing. The materials are. You can actually craft things. Oh, wait, get out of the way. Yeah, oh, damn. Yeah, you can actually craft things outside of here. So you can come in here with equipment. <laughs> get out of that way. Nope, didn't do it. Oh, 
Oh, I like that. Look at this. Look at the damage I'm doing. Let's take uh the, the, let's take some potions here cuz I took some damage there. Let's get these things set up here. There we go. I wish that did damage. Yeah, I wish that did damage to them. Oh, gosh. Oh, they're doing some damage to me. Holy crap. Oh, I'm downed. Oh, God. Okay. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> okay. Well, that didn't work out very well. Perks, empty slot. Let's gain the health. There we go. Looks like I have teams here also. You have desert, play against duo, play against solo. Only solo players allowed, less enemies, no dragon vault portals. Yeah, let, let's keep solo for right now. I don't want to embarrass myself in front of somebody that has played this game, you know? Celestial Dragonflight. What are these guys all? There's a whole bunch of people around here right now. I do like that. Oh, okay. So if they have a, f oh, I like that. I like this whole thing. So if I hit something with a fury stack, which means if I'm hitting something, if I'm right clicking and I hit it with a stack, which stacks from here, this actually builds up to the point where I can continue to spin on them. That's nice. And this makes me immune. Interesting. Okay. Here, let's test this out. Okay. So, dink, 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 right? I do like that your swing speed, like you can swing wide. Oh, look at the damage you're doing there. Okay, ready? Holy crap. So you can technically keep your rage and timer going and do some really monster damage. It's all about learning how everything works, you know? All right, we're going in. Find right, loot and then extract through a portal. Beware, if you die, you lose all the stuff in your inventory. Yeah, I'm trying to extract. Obviously, that's the move, you know what I mean? That's the ultimate goal. <laughs> Also probably learning how enemies work too. Ooh, that's I don't be in that range, I don't think. Dodge that guy. Dodged it. He's dead. There we go. Let's extract this. There's something over here too. What was that? Stormleaf? <laughs> I missed it. There we go. Get rid of that guy. We gotta keep moving to the middle because it looks like the next the next loop is right there. See that? So you got to get at least into that area. Is 
Cause it looks like that's vulnerable damage, which I guess is good. There's my slippers of power. There we go. I feel like walking in here without any equipment is the reason I'm not really doing damage. So once I get some equipment and do some damage, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, see how like that's now, oh, oh. God, he blows up. I should probably just go for him there. I'm gonna go for that. I remember this is a dead end. Let's go. Let's go through here. Fast. Ooh, what are those things? Okay, let's get rid of this thing first. So it doesn't sneak up on me. Alright, let's get this. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well, they hurt. Another pouncer? Ow. Well... That didn't go like I wanted it to. Uh, I'm like looking at the Discord right now. I like sleep before like extracting six, seven, eight, bit nine different times. Defeat one swarmers in a mission before taking damage. Use five healing potions in a mission. You get, you get the revenant armor. Nice. I'm pretty sure when you go in here, you lose everything. Because the extraction shooter. So you're basically... You're losing everything, you know? Yeah, see, you can you can craft things. That's if you extract... <laughs> if you extract with stuff. Here's your perks. Looks like level 5 is my next perk. Druids live in harmony with the natural world. Shields, area control. Single target damage. Let's try Warden. What you got here? Each ability to hit the target applies Moth Mark, which stacks up to five times. I don't think there's any rolls or anything like that. I don't. I don't think so. No. Okay. Each ability that hits the target applies Moth Mark, which stacks up to five times, and it lasts eight seconds. Applying a new Moth Mark will refresh the stack. Reach Moth Mark. Base attacks deal additional AP damage. Okay. So I wanted to like do this. Ah, the mop mark is that. Okay. Ah, okay. Each deals 114. Cast a piercing moth on a lion, granting vision and dealing 150 magic damage. Recast a dash to the moth and remove it. Ooh. The cast an enemy's hit by the moth will suffer. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Okay. Do they drop these? What do these do? Wide, wild buff. Oh. Is that a thing? At 100 energy, spend it and spawn a flower. It lasts 12 seconds. Okay, that's what it is. Okay. Four hundred and seventy-nine versus. Ooh, that stuns. None of the target has mouth mark. Okay. So you want to use that later on. I got gotcha. you. Okay. I got gotcha you now. All right. Let's try this again. I 
and stun that. Yeah, see, I just don't see, I don't feel really strong until I get some equipment. You gotta get some equipment. I think that's the problem, is I just don't, I have no equipment. Pick up this, so I can go ding, 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 ding. There we go. He definitely deals more damage than anything I've, I've encountered. The play area is getting smaller. Hey guys, vision. That's why I'm using that. What's this? Something I can pick up, so let's pick it up. Ember glass. Oh, when I first dove in, I immediately got attacked by something. The first game. Oh, gain haste for seven seconds. Oh, I should have grabbed that and gone. I should have ran with that. Yeah, when I first got in, it was like, it was nuts. There we go, he's dead. Yeah, it really is a difference when you have a damage dealer. There we go. Just gotta get used to the, the attacks and all that stuff. That's all. Let's pop a heal. I think that slows them. Kiting. Let's call kiting. <laughs> this is called kiting. Yeah, this character is way easier to use than all the other characters right now. And I got shoulders. I got some equipment finally. Looks like I'm in the ring right now, so. There we go. Finally get some equipment is the difference, man. Every meter moved your next basic attack. Oh. Got him. Thank you.
Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Yeah, I like this character. I like this character a lot, actually. There we go. Racers on. Cool. This is haste. Ooh, I don't like that. That's hard. An escape portal has appeared? Where? Did this show? I would love. Oh, someone, someone's been here. Someone's been here. You butthead, dude. There's no escaping that, is there? Oh, you're almost dead. I think that's someone's loot right there. Yeah, I think someone died here. They did. You're hurt too. Well, I would like to know where these escape portals are. Is that a train going down this thing? Oh, that's super cool. Skateboard has appeared. Who is a bad place? This is a bad place because I have no escape. That hasn't been touched yet. Oh, God. Oh, hi. Hi, Rebus Cube. Bye, Rebus Cube. Void leather. You know they're mad. You need a key. Oh, that hurt. Wow, did I just run into that?
Um, where's the escape portal? Crap. Um, is that here? No, no. Don't aggro me. Stay here. Okay, I'm in the next zone. There's a health. I heard somewhere this way. I heard someone this way. There it is. Escape, 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 escape. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Yes. I was worried. I was actually legitimately worried. All right. Well, I like this character. One second. Before I do that, let's put some stuff in storage here, right? Okay, hopefully, uh, put everything in storage right now. And then we can go and claim, just in case. There we go. Unique slice and dice. 30% damage when your base attacks against vulnerable enemies. Heals your wounds for 20% of the damage dealt to vulnerable enemies. Oh! Well, dang. Okay, we'll put that on. Oh, I love... I uh, Yeah, see, I'm a fan of this character. Tier two. Does that mean I'm with the big people now? Oh, no, tier two right there. I'm like, tier two, does that mean I'm with the big people now? Ooh. Okay, my question is, with this characters now, with the unlocks here, whoops, I keep pressing, I keep doing that, dude. Uh-huh. With your character, you have X's here. Crown of Accuracy, plus 7% range. This goes on the head. 75 health, plus 10 armor against bosses. Kind of like the attack damage, honestly. Yeah, I want to put the attack damage on. And then you have 8 ability power, which is fine. Attack damage is fine. This is arms. Oh, so that's the same thing. Okay, got your arms. That's the same thing there. That's a... That's a nine circular. So that's a crown of accuracy, but instead of the vision, which I don't really actually care about the vision. Let's go with this instead. I know it lowers my vision a little bit. Ooh, small shield shard. Okay. Is this one some same thing? Yep, same thing. And then you can craft too, right? Yeah, you can craft, see? So you can go the boots of accuracy or the boots of accuracy with the two void leather, which I should have grabbed. I don't know why I didn't grab the void leather. Because this is a plus six attack damage plus as a random stat. Fresh levels. Craft items to increase the levels and unlock more recipes. See, there you go. You need to unlock that. Dang. Oh, I can do Rizzle the Power. Actually, yeah. Craft it. Oh, look at this. Enchant just went to level three. Jeez.
Pop that out. Pop that in there. And now my character's like ready. My character has, a, has went from weakling to powerhouse. I mean, not really powerhouse. You know what I mean? But, um, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> all right folks thank you so much for joining me with any buffet i'm gonna be playing a little more of this uh i i like extraction things like this i know everyone's gonna be like tarkov and stuff like that but no i i like um i like things like this because they're just a lot of fun and they're a lot of fun to do this and also i'm a i'm a battle right man so like you know this just hits home these type of games just hit home for me so hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much and thank you to all the members and everyone joining the channel as recently really really just out of this world thank you so much for the support i'll see you folks in the next one thanks for joining me for the indie buffet where we'll help you find your next favorite indie peace